the source. And if you find any of my opinion which goes against the opinion of Allah and His Rasul, you reject my opinion. That's the reason I say I am a hundred percent humbly. If humbly means a person who follows the teachings of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, I am a hundred percent humbly. Other people are seventy percent, eighty percent. So in teachings, if you say following the teachings of Abu Hanifa, Imam Abu Hanifa, may Allah's mercy be on him, makes you Hanafi. I am a Pakka Hanafi, 100% Hanafi. If following the teachings of Imam Malik makes you a Malaki, I am a 100% Malaki. If following the teachings of Imam Shafi makes you a Shafi, I am a 100% Shafi. If following the teachings of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal makes you a Humbly, I am a 100% Saufi Sad, Humbly. Because all these four great, great Aimma said, if you find any of my fatwa which goes against Allah and His Rasul, you throw my fatwa on the wall. See, all the madhabs of all these four great ahmas was what? What is the meaning of madhab? Madhab means way, way of going or time of going. Another word for madhab is sunnah. Even sunnah means way. Sunnah of the Prophet means way of the Prophet. So all the madhabs of all these four ahmas was the madhab of the Rasul. All the ahmas said, if you find a say hadith, you reject my opinion. That means all the four ahmas their mother was the mother of the Rasul. Simple. The way of the Rasul. Imam Abu Hanifa, may Allah be pleased with him. May Allah mercy be on him. He never came to start a new Hanafi madhab. Imam Malik never came to start a new Maliki madhab. Imam Shafi never came to start a Shafi madhab. Imam Abad ibn Hanbal never came to start a new Hanbali madhab. All of them followed the madhab of the Rasul. Like how the Christians misunderstand Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, never came to teach Christianity. He came to teach Islam. Similarly, all these four great ayamas, they came to give us knowledge of the teachings of Allah and His Rasul. Their madhab was no madhab but the madhab of the Rasul. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 4, verse number 59, Atiullah, Atiur Rasul, Obey Allah and obey the Messenger. And those charged with affairs, with those charged with affairs or with knowledge, you have to follow Allah and His Rasul. After that, Allah says, and those who are charged with the affairs, those endowed with knowledge. But the verse does not end there. The verse continues. But if they differ, go back to Allah and His Rasul. So if those with knowledge, Imam Shafi, Imam Abu Hanbal, Imam Malik, Imam Hanbal. May Allah's mercy be on them all. If they differ, go back to Allah and His Rasul. So all the four ayamas, they said the same thing. If you find my fatwa which goes against Allah and Rasul, reject my opinion. Same thing Allah says, Atullah, Atul Rasul, obey Allah and obey the messengers and those charged with their faith, those and not with knowledge. But if they differ, go back to Allah and His Rasul if you believe in Allah and the last day. For this is the best and the correct way of determination. There is no better way of determination according to Allah than going back to Allah and His Rasul. It is so simple. Now, there are some brothers who come and ask me the question. Brother Zakir, fine. Those people who have knowledge of Quran and Hadith, for them it is very easy to know what is right, what is wrong, what is Sahih Hadith, what is Zaif Hadith. How can we as lay Muslims, as common Muslims, understand what is right, what is wrong? It's a very good question. I tell them. Then they say, that's the reason we do taqlid. I tell them, see. What is the meaning of taqlid? Taqlid means, see, following the opinion of any scholar does not make you in the format of taqlid. Doesn't make you muqallid. If, after showing proof that the scholar you are following is wrong and then you follow him, yet that makes you a For example, if your mother has a heart problem, fine, has a heart problem, and some doctor, what will you do? Who will you go to? You won't go to Tom, Dick and Harry, you'll go to a heart specialist. You do research. MBBS? No, no, no. MD, ha, MD. MD in what? In brain? No, no, no. Heart? Yes. So before going to a doctor, you do research. 
you check up what is his degree mbbs no 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 mds md in what gynecology no 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 kidney no 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 brain no 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 cardiologist ah yes dm super specialty md of medicine then you do super specialty dm you do your research and then you go to him you don't blindly follow any tom dick and harry if anyone on the street says the mother has heart attack okay do this will you follow him will you follow him no you will do research similarly the third category atullah tu rasul obey allah and obey the messenger the third category those endowed with knowledge or those charged with the affairs you do research any scholar says anything check up whether it's right or wrong see everything you cannot check up now you have heard 10 different scholars you understand how scholar number a he has given about 30 40 references i have checked up 20 20 or oh quran sahi hadith so 21st you need not check you check chora number 2 score number 2 mixture part correct sahi hadith part sahi hadith third scholar majority pulling fast ones sahi hadith it's not there bukhari you open bukhari more than 7000 hadith you don't find it only so you have many scholars you do little research now once you are once you make up mind ha huh? scholar number 1 ah huh? when he talks he gives references when i checked up the references quran sahih hadith then then what happens then when you ask an opinion and three scholars give you the opinion you automatically follow the first scholar because i've checked up 20 things of his it has turned out to be right even the 21st inshallah will be right so every layman cannot do research on everything everyone says so first but you have to limited research this scholar number a ah he speaks on quran and hadith scholar a b c d or scholar number 1 scholar number 2 or scholar number b partly right partly wrong scholar number c or scholar number 3 majority wrong so you do little research and classify which type of a scholar is he and then if you follow without doing research scholar number 1 no problem but suppose you follow scholar number 1 you have done research on another scholar comes and says what scholar number 1 has said is wrong i give you proof from quran and sahih hadith you check up the proof if it is wrong you reject him and follow scholar number 1 but if the proof that fourth scholar gave you it is from quran and hadith going against the opinion of scholar number 1 then you reject the fatwa of scholar number 1 so if see for example i am there when i hear something what i speak in the talk i do my research but there's more more knowledge in my in my head in my brain which i haven't checked up but yet i classify for example if i hear a statement from sheikh nasir al almani mashallah who expired recently according to me one of the greatest muhaddis of the recent times so what he says i follow on the face of it because i've checked up he is a scholar mashallah following quran and sahih hadith but if someone gets me a fatwa against nasiruddin albani if it's from quran and sunna i may reject the fatwa of nasiruddin albani i mean but i know see every human being can make mistakes imam shafi made a mistake imam abu hanifa made a mistake imam abu ibn hanbal made imam malik made so why can't sheikh nasiruddin albani make he can make but he belongs to the group of scholars which checks up on quran and hadith so if someone gives a fatwa local person from here and nasrud albani i believe nasrud albani if i don't have time but if i say in the lecture i check it up what i say in the lecture i check up because i'm responsible for that but for my own knowledge if i have to make opinion i can't keep on checking every hadith difficult difficult for a layman so but to classify which group of scholars i'm reading of